This letter was written by Bolivar Jackson Howe to his Aunt Celia Mitchell. Number 14, North Front Street, Philadelphia, January 5th, 1865. Mrs. Celia Mitchell, West Screen, Erie County, Pennsylvania. My dear aunt, your kind letter, accompanied by one from Cousin Flory, came safely to hand. Sad, sad indeed, were the contents, inasmuch as they told us of the death of Cousin Wallace, a brave soldier of the Union, whom, though I had not seen him, I had already learned to respect and love, and whom I fondly hoped at some future time to meet. May we all meet together in that brighter and better land, where war and death shall never come and when parting shall be no more. Little did we think when visiting at your house that Wallace and my own dear Frankie would so soon be in the spirit lands. Oh no, we thought of life and hope and happy days to come. In their places have come sickness and sorrow and death and our loved ones have been borne away. Be assured that my sympathies are with you all in the sad loss which you have sustained. Just one year ago today, my loved Francina died. You may well suppose that it has been a mournful anniversary to me. How long, alone and dreary, has the past year been in my heart and mind? God grant that such a weight of sorrow may never fall upon me again. My health, for which you so kindly inquire, is better than when I wrote to you last, but it is not yet fully established. I am taking some medicine yet. I feel quite poorly every few days. I have been attending to my duties at the counting room for the past two weeks. The weather here has been very cold, disagreeable, rainy, and snowy for the past four weeks. It, of course, exerts an influence unfavorable upon health. When it becomes settled and clear, I hope to feel much better. I have received no letters from Massachusetts very recently. The last I had from Holmes was some three or four weeks ago. He was not at that time very well. His family was in usual health. The next time I write to him, I will inquire particularly respecting my relatives on my mother's side and communicate the intelligence to you if you do not hear from them often. Please present my thanks to Cousin Flory for her kind letter and tell her I would be glad to hear from her frequently, as indeed I would from all the girls. When I was at your house, I promised Flory to write her a letter and I expected then to write her a joyous and happy one. Events have, of course, changed my thoughts and feelings, but I intend to write to her ere long. Give my very best respect to Uncle Robert and tell him I would like very much to see him again. Remember me to all. Adding prayer for your comfort under your deep affliction, I remain your affectionate nephew, B.J. Howe.